public corruption cases are not new for Nathaniel Oakes. He lost his seat in the Maryland House of Delegates in the late 80s for stealing thousands of dollars from his reelection fund. Forgiving voters, though, sent him back to the House in 1994. This time, it's a federal case involving a HUD project. According to a criminal complaint, a source working with the FBI paid Oakes $15,300. Oaks had described a need for money, according to the complaint. In exchange, it's alleged, Oaks filed a bond bill with the state requesting $250,000 for the project. In recorded telephone conversations, it's alleged, Oaks says to the source, I don't want to necessarily talk a whole lot of stuff on the phone. And later, in another exchange, said, I'm going to do everything within my power and my authority to lead you right into the to the place where you can do well. At a late April meeting last year, the complaint says, the source held up five fingers to signify a $5,000 payment to Oaks. In response, Oaks, with a lollipop in his mouth, shook his head from side to side and then made an upward motion with his thumb. It was kind of devastating. It felt pretty sad. Again, um, I came into the legislature, he was already a veteran, and so to a certain extent he somewhat embraced me um, as a new legislator in a way that others didn't. And so it was, it was painful to watch. Jill Carter, who used to work with Senator Oaks, if convicted, he would serve 20 years in prison. And Nathaniel Oaks is 70 years old. Live at federal court, Deborah Wiener, WBAL, TV 11 News.